Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1077. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1077 to 1078, click on the link below the video. Hey, look at this. We have a table with outgoing and incoming racks. And as we scroll down, we need to be able to edit this and see the totals at the bottom. Here's the totals at the bottom. So what we really need is as we're going through the list, we need a floating cell over here. No problem. Excel actually does have a floating cells. I'm going to click in the cell, go over to Formulas, and there it is. Oh, it's not called floating cells. It's called Watch Window. And check out those glasses. Boom. Now. I simply, with the cell selected, say Add Watch. Add Watch. And I can resize this, resize the columns here so that it's going to show me the name of the workbook, the sheet, the cell, the value right now, and the formula. So I'm going to see if I can show the formula. you got to be kidding me. Now when I scroll up, there's that floating cell. Now actually, Anna Beth from one of my classes at Highline asked this. And she says, I need a floating cell. So when I change this number to 22 and hit Enter, boom, I can see it updating over here. This wasn't minus 38. It was minus 37. So before I hit Enter, I'm looking over here. Enter, and sure enough, it updates. Now really, Watch Window, that's a pretty good name, but I like Floating Cell better. Now check this out. It gets even better. You can actually dock this. I'm going to move this up to the top and dock it up here. So now you can go to Other Sheets. If you had data on this sheet, raw data that you were entering that were affecting the formulas right here, on this sheet, you could still see it. Not only that, but watch this. Control-N to open up a new workbook. Look at that. The watch window's over there. So I'm going to Alt-Tab, click over here. Watch this. If I had these three cells equals Alt-Tab, I'm just going to pretend like those cells are coming from here. Notice it says Book 1, Sheet 1, uh, A1. I'm going to change that in the formula bar, F4, 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 so that it's a relative cell reference. You could see I'm back in the workbook so because I started editing using F4. But watch this, Control-Enter. Now all these are zeros because Alt-Tab. Over here, this is the source. So when I type 25, watch this, I'm going to hit Enter. And these will update. Boom, 26, Enter. 50, Enter, 12. Each time I hit Enter, these formulas are updated. So this Watch window, Alt-Tab, will work for the particular sheet, another sheet in the workbook, or Alt-Tab, even a completely different workbook. All right, floating cells. We'll see you next trick.